بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیس سی ہاؤ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف بائی سینسرس کین بی یوز ٹو ڈیٹیکٹ دا پریزنس آف ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ٹاکسنس ان دا سامپلس اسپیشلی دا انوائرمنٹل سامپلس اینڈ فروٹ سامپلس دا ٹاکسنس آر ویری ہائیڈروجنس گروپ آف کمپاؤنڈس اینڈ دیز آر کیپیبل آف افیکٹنگ سو مینی ڈفرینٹ بائی کیمیکل پروسیسز گوئنگ آن ان سائڈ آ لیونگ سیل دوز پروسیسز کڈ بی ریلیٹڈ ٹو ممبرین فنکشنس آئن ٹرانسپورٹ ٹرانسمیٹر ریلیز ڈی این ایپلیکیشن پروٹین سینسز ایز ویل ناؤ a number of attempts have been done and a lot of research is going on to detect these toxin compounds in the environmental samples in the food samples as well and in clinical samples as well uh, why so because obviously toxins uh, uh, are harmful to life they can cause death as well so if we have biosensors that can rapidly detect the presence of such compounds in any sample it will be very good for life Now there have been so many uh, biosensors uh, which employ so many different uh, principles to detect these toxin compounds for example the induction of reporter genes by promoter uh, which is bonds to wide variety of toxic compounds humne pehle bhi zikr kiya tha ki normally jo whole cell assays hain unme recombinant vector plasmid use hota hai that usually contains regulatory genes which are inducible uh, by the compound that we want to detect or the uh, product of the compound that we want to detect so you can see here uh, the promoter can be used which can be induced by the presence of different types of toxin compounds and if these are uh, these are present the promoter will be activated uh, and it will then transcribe the reporter gene and and signal can be obtained in different uh, types so when cells are exposed to toxic substances uh, they can be induction or activation in the reporter protein production uh, maybe in the form of fluorescence as well they have been specific sensors created for bacterial toxins and mycotoxins as well uh, and uh, an integrated optical sensor has been created for the analysis of aflatoxin b in corn aflatoxin is produced by fungus aspergillus and different species of that fungus uh, in corn maize and other plants as well another example is of uh, uh, an impedance based immuno sensor uh, by using which uses ultra thin platinum film with an immobilized layer of antibiotics against streptococcus enterotoxin b so you can see here um different types of toxins which are uh, 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 bacterial bond as well can be detected by use of different types of biosensors another example is of a rapid and sensitive immunosensor for the detection of clostridium botulinum toxin a it is a very important uh, toxin compound uh, it can be fatal Uh, so uh, they have been a lot of research going on to detect this compound as well through biosensors so this one is basically fiber optic based biosensor which utilizes evanescent wave of a tapered optical fiber where antibiotics uh, antitoxin a have been covalently immobilized at the distal end so basically they have a uh, optical fiber with the, the coated antibodies antitoxin a uh, so this is used to detect the presence of these toxic compounds Uh, with almost similar configuration it has also been used for the detection of cholera toxin as well so once uh, a technique uh, when once a technique is developed against certain uh, toxin uh, this technique can be modified to detect uh, the presence or absence of uh, other related toxic compounds as well as you can see here this was about how different biosensors can be used to detect uh, the toxic compounds in different samples and food sample as well We will talk more about applications of biosensors in our next lessons.